Today marks a milestone, not only in the history of the buildings and the pumping station, but also in that of its life as a museum. Today is the very first day that we've been able to invite wheelchair users to the property for the very first time. It's a hugely important day to us because for 45 years we've invited people through our front door and we've not been able to admit anyone in a wheelchair or even with poor mobility that doesn't use a wheelchair because of the stairs that are all around the museum. As part of today's event we're also launching our InfoPoint network which is an intranet inside the museum. This gives visitors the opportunity to use their own smartphone or tablets to have a guided tour around the museum. This gives us lots of information, lots of archive information, images, along with live web webcams. So the few people who can't reach the top floor can actually view what's going on the top floor on their very own smartphone. We've started our 2016 programme very early with the launch today, but there are other opportunities right throughout the year to see the engines in action. Uh, whether you're a wheelchair user or not, please come along, have a look on the website, all the information is available there. Everything at Rye is huge. You can see the beams behind me, they each weigh 22 ton. Uh, the scale of the place is enormous, the flywheels are 18 ton, the well itself is 250 feet deep, and you can see all this on your tour when you come along to Rye. The engines are worked under steam power, you can help stoke the boilers. Come along and have a wonderful day with us.